Hi everyone, welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and a build update of the AMT 67 Chevelle Pro Street. A lot got done today. I got my radiator hoses upper and lower down. I tacked down the vacuum lines for the uh, vacuum receiver can to the booster pump. I blue tacked on my um, air filters just using the regular blue tack that I use when I stick things to paint. I did that because the carburetors look so nice that sometime down the road I may want to take those off, you know, and just show the carburetors off through the hood because that's the way that's going to look. And I think that's going to be sharp. So the big thing is on the back side. Look at the dirt on there. The suspension is done. I am going to have to glue this in place. It It's just a little too wobbly for me. I, I wanted to set it in there because I might want it to turn the wheels, but I didn't. So I am, I don't, so I am going to do that. I still have to drop a little panel liner on my um, linkage just to give it a little bit of highlight. And I may do a little dry brush too. Uh, the rear end is completely done. I use panel liner on the springs to highlight those. Same with the springs on the wheelie bars. See there, my wheel fell off. <laughs> but uh, I think it looks sharp. Just a quick paint on black on the uh, um, wheels for the wheelie bar and they were done. These wheels are nice. I mean, they go together pretty well. The front wheels, are a little bit small. I wish I would have known it before I glued the one on. They're a little bit small for the rims. So fit it on, sand it down until you get it right, and then glue them together so they're not a little sloppy like mine are. I'm gonna have to dress them to the outside. You can see how much gap there is there. And that's my bad. I didn't realize that they were closed in like that so that they, they don't fill up. But anyhow, there's that all set. We're getting close to the end. I'm going to put the wheel on here. I'm glad that didn't stick because now I'll be able to get glue up on that. I'm going to have to rip that one off. I chromed up the bumper where I cut it off. It's looking pretty good across the top. I just used my Molotov pen on that. And my parachute is about ready to go. Once I get everything glued on, I'll put the parachute on. I'll run the chute line underneath and I'll tack it up underneath the uh, engine. And I think somewhere I may have removed before flight from a build that I did a long time ago on a EAS-3 Viking that I think I want to put in there just to make it look pretty cool. So there's that. You saw the body. This is going to look awesome. I have just came in the Tamiya clear coat. So I'm going to be using this, but I'm not going to use it until I'm at work. So I can do it in an outside equipment room that has, it's like 85 degrees out there. So this is going to lay on there so nice and flat. It's not even funny. And then I got to put the glass on. I did paint the underside and got that all ready to go. So the next step is get the, the uh, clear coat on it, and that'll be Monday. And then probably Wednesday after I polish this, I'll bring you back and show you the finished. But right now, we're getting really close. Duke's got some good shots. Um, that's about it right now. So anyhow, I'm Mark. This is Grandpa Mark's Hobbies. I appreciate everybody sticking around. I appreciate all the comments and all the likes and everything. You guys are awesome. Um, really good information. So thanks again. But anyhow, you all have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.